hello guys i'm back with another video and in this video all i want to do is just talk to you about why i think the dji action 4 is almost like the perfect vlogging camera and when i talk about vlogging those of us who are in the content creation space those of us who are on youtube those of us who like making content for youtube the term vlog is not a strange word right it's like the video form of a blog a blog is where you express your thoughts and ideas like in a mini website and you invite people to come and see and share and listen to what you have to say and i look at a vlog as not just the video form of a blog but it's actually all about storytelling so a vlog is more or less like visual storytelling it could be about your day it could be about a vacation it could be about a trip somewhere so a vlog is essentially storytelling and i think the dji action 4 camera is a very great camera to have if you really are passionate about storytelling you like to capture videos about maybe a vacation or a trip out to a very nice place or a night out or even like to capture videos of a party anniversary something very personal or you are trying to set up a youtube channel and you just want to you know share creative ideas or your thoughts or you want to educate people and you're thinking about a camera to use, you're thinking about something that is very versatile and functional, something that is easy to use, you're not really so much into the whole big camera gear setup and all those technicalities, you just want something that is very easy to use. I highly recommend the DJI Action 4 and here is why. So the first reason is the form factor of the DJI Action 4. The DJI Action 4 is really very small, it's pocket sized. It can fit in the palm of your hand. It can slip easily into your pocket or your purse or your bag. So you're not worrying about carrying big gear that is going to draw attention to yourself. You know, you just want to be able to focus on the storytelling and capturing the image and the scene. You don't want to bother too much about fitting it to some big accessories or all of those things. The form factor of the DJ Action 4 is wonderful. It's an action camera quite all right. So um, it's actually meant designed to be that way something that will fit easily on you as an athlete a sports athlete that will be able to capture all the um, activities but you know even for vloggers and people who just want to be able to capture their daily lives and capture the significant moments in their lives in a very easy way the form factor is one reason why you want to consider getting the DJ action for very small pocket size fits into your purse fits in the palm of your hand I've used it to capture um, my trip, you know, from Abuja to Akwai Bomb. That's one particular vlog I did. And it was so inconspicuous that hardly anybody even knew that I was holding a camera. And so that was one of the great things about holding um, an action camera. And the DJ Action 4 is really small for you to be able to, to use it in that way. Closely related to the form factor is the ease of use. The DJ Action 4 is so easy to use. And when I say ease of use, I mean right from switching it on, having the right settings. Basically, there's even a setting that is as simple as you bring it out, you press record, and it starts recording. Now, that is a quick setting function, a quick start function, which is set in such a way that when you click that record button, several things happen. The camera switches on, it starts recording, and when you click to stop the recording, the camera stops the recording and then switches off. As simple as that. No need to like put it on, start adjusting this or adjusting that. Very easy to use. I took it out for me on this walk. It's been in my bag, this bag you see right here. And all I need to do is just pull it out, put it on a stand and use it. So if you're looking for something that is really easy to use, I think this is one of the reasons why you might want to think about getting the DJI Action 4. I'm currently listening to the soundtrack of The Joker that was released in 2019. That is like one of the best movies ever. I watched it back then in 2019 or 2020 and I watched it again recently and man, that movie was awesome. So anyway, going to the third reason why I highly recommend the DJI Action 4 is the image quality. The image quality that comes out of this little pocket-sized camera is really amazing. It shoots 4K uh, up to 120 frames per second. It shoots several other types of resolutions. So there's a 1080, 2.7K, and then there's 4K. All of these resolutions 
are more than sufficient even if you're just like an amateur video maker i mean you're just making videos for like your home parties and events or trips or travel or if you're like a more serious filmmaker and you want something a little bit more high resolution for your youtube channel or for your portfolio or you are trying to create some cinematic videos cinematic reels or you're into action sports like cycling swimming and all of those things you can be sure of very very good quality and another thing that it has some pro settings inside of it so in the pro settings you can reduce things like sharpness you can change the color profile from which you're shooting the DJI Action 4 has like a native color resolution but it also has a more advanced color profile or color space which is a D log M which is a flat color profile it shoots in 10 bit color depth that gives you like a lot of versatility in terms of post-production if you're trying to edit and bring out the colors of your footage allows you to even reduce the sharpness so you're not getting footage that looks like it was shot with a camera phone it looks very professional and you can now begin to sharpen it in post so i think that makes this camera really great if you really want to be producing high quality um, vlogs for your youtube channel or travel videos or you want to use it as a big camera to shoot some b-roll creating a documentary you know this is all about storytelling and your ability to be able to capture different visual elements or visual scenes just to be able to help you tell your story is very important and this camera gives you the opportunity i I've used it personally as a backup camera when I'm shooting documentaries. I've used it for my, my YouTube vlogs. Um, I've used it for when I go out to parties or events or weddings or I'm, I'm, I'm on a trip. It's really, really an amazing camera to use for this third reason, which is that it has amazing video quality. So another reason why I think the DJI Action 4 camera is really good and you should have one is that the battery life is pretty good, it's pretty decent. On the website, DJI says that you can get up to 150 minutes of recording with this camera with a fully charged battery. Um, in, a, in more practical scenes or scenarios, you may get maybe up to two hours, that's 120 minutes, which is really pretty okay. In most cases, you're not going to be shooting like continuously for two or four hours. I mean, like most everyday use settings is that you switch it on, record for like one or two or three minutes, switch it off, which is how I use it most of the time. So I find that I can use a battery for a whole day because I'm not like recording consistently for two hours. So that makes sense. But if you're trying to use it, like say, to cover an event that lasts maybe up to four hours, potentially you can have that device fully charged battery recording for up to two hours. And then the good thing about it is that if you're buying it, there are some combo setups like the adventure combo and the, the vloggers combo and all of that that you see on the website that comes with two additional batteries and a battery case which is how i bought it so if you charge all three batteries that means you have at least six hours of video recording which is more than enough to cover an event so once one battery is exhausted you just slot the next battery in and you're good to go so that makes this whole setup really nice you know the problem with a lot of other cameras that people use for vlogs like your mobile phone uh, if you use your iPhone, for instance, to vlog, you know that it's not like it has one of the best batteries out there. And so if you are using it to record videos and of course using it to make calls and receive calls and check your emails, you know that the battery is going to run out quick and you have to probably have a power bank. And if you're using the bigger DSLR cameras like the Sony cameras and all of that, you also still need to have additional batteries because those things are powerhouses. They're doing a lot of things. Some of them can overheat. This is why it's an advantage maybe to get like a small camera like the DJI Action 4 because the battery lasts pretty well. This next reason is one of my favorite reasons why I love using this camera and why I found it to be like one of my go-to cameras when it comes to like making vlogs like this is that it's weather sealed. As most action cameras like the DJI Action cameras and the GoPros, you know that these cameras are waterproof. So the DJI Action 4 camera can shoot underwater videos up to a depth of 18 meters which is pretty amazing that is without a case so when you put it in some other form of packaging or case who knows maybe you could even shoot at greater depth automatically that makes it um, good to use in rainy weather so if you have already planned to shoot your events or your trip is on a day that is quite wet and rainy and maybe sprinkles of rain here and there and you're wondering or scared about your equipment getting wet you can be rest assured that with the DJI Action 4, you are not worried about your device getting damaged due to water. Again, it shoots in temperatures of up to minus 20 degrees. So even in the winter, in places like in the UK here that it gets really cold, you can use it to shoot in minus 20 degrees. I mean, I used it to shoot some footage last winter when it snowed 
and the temperature then was about minus three or so. So in places like Canada and other parts of the world where the temperature really gets very, very low, you can use the DJI Action 4 and to still keep recording at that temperature without getting damaged. So perfect camera for different kind of weather scenarios, weather settings. This is one reason why you should get the DJI Action 4. So the next point I'm going to make is really about the fact that the DJI Action 4 camera comes with a lot of accessory options to enhance your filmmaking experience. I mean, some of them come out of the box when you buy the camera. So things like the selfie sticks that I'm using with the tripod stand, that is very helpful. And then there are other things you can buy third party on Amazon and other places that really enhance your shooting experience. So that enables you to be able to maybe like attach the camera to your chest as a chest mount as a helmet mount if you're using it for as a cyclist um, or a mount for your bicycle there are mounts that allow you to attach it to the wall or fix it to the wall and so on and so forth and these all help you to be able to use your camera in different ways because of the size because of the, the fact that it's so small and user friendly that really helps you know unlike other bigger cameras where because the camera itself is big so the accessories also have to be big so yeah, this is another reason why you might think about getting it. Why I think it's an awesome camera because there's so many accessories out there. Third party accessories, DJI accessories, other things that help you to use your camera in more versatile ways, more useful ways, and overall help your shooting experience to be really enjoyable. This is one of my favorite places to come to, to shoot because it just looks so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it all around me. The garden, the layout, it's all just so beautiful, well taken care of. This is um, the campus premise of the University of West England in Bristol. It's really, really nice. And I just thought I'll show you some sayings. And um, I'm on a walk, so let's move to the next location. And I'll continue talk, telling you about the advantages of having the DJI Action 4. One of the reasons why the DJI Action 4 camera is amazing for vlogging is that it has um, touch screen, a dual touch screen. So it has a back, a rear touch screen, and a front facing touch screen. And we all know that um, for a vlogging camera, an ideal vlogging camera has a front facing screen so that you can see yourself and know how to frame yourself, the best way to frame yourself, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. So now I can tell from looking at the screen that I'm properly framed and the composition is good as against using like a phone or other camera where maybe you cannot see what you're doing. Some vlogging cameras have flip out screens so you can turn them around to the front. And the DJI Action 4 has a front facing screen so that already takes care of you being able to see what you're doing from the front. So that's another great reason to have the DJI Action 4 because of the front facing screen, which is also a touch screen. So you can, you know, touch and manipulate and control the camera from the front without having to turn it around to the back very convenient for vlogging. This is why DJI Action 4 camera is really great. It's not a bad day today in terms of the weather. I say people in UK are always talking about the weather. That's because the weather is so temperamental. <laughs> the weather is not a calm guy in this part of the world. In Nigeria, once it's rainy season, you know it's rainy season. Dry season, you know it's dry season. When the sun comes out, finishes his walk, around 6.30 it goes. Wind once in a while, but here, you can have five different types of weather scenarios or weather settings in one day. You can wake up cold, you can get warm, get windy, get rainy, all in one day. It's really, really crazy. There goes the cyclist. Another reason why the DJI Action 4 camera it's really a great camera. It's because of the fact that it has a very good mobile app that you can use in conjunction with the camera. The connection with the camera is really great. Uh, once you put it on, connect by Bluetooth. You can see what you're doing on the camera, on the phone, and you can adjust settings in the phone. You can adjust things like uh, the video settings, the video quality, ISO and other unique crazy features. That's one of the things I enjoy about using the DJI Action 4 or any DJI product to be honest. Much like when you're using a drone and you connect it to your 
phone. That's another great reason to have the DJI Action 4. Because when you download the DJI MIMO app, it's very easy to connect to your phone and download all the images. So for on the go vlogging or content creation, like you create something and you immediately want to put it on the internet or on YouTube without much editing, you all you need to do is shoot with the DJI Action 4, record it, download it to your camera, and even if you want to edit, you can edit it within the camera, I mean within the phone, and then you upload it directly from your phone to the internet. So for those of you who are concerned about like content creation for Instagram, social media, Facebook, you want to do some quick videos of your trip and vlog about your trip online, you can easily record with your DJI Action 4 camera, download it to your phone in an instant and upload it to the internet and you're good to go. So on the whole, the DJI Action 4 camera is a great camera to have if you are interested in visual storytelling and by visual storytelling I mean all the various forms by which people use uh, images to tell stories. So vlogging, travel vlogs, everyday vlogs, um, educational YouTube videos, whatever type of video you want to create or you just want something in your bag or your pocket or your purse that you can use to capture family vacations, trips, um, events. The only thing I'll say is that it's a small camera so it may not perform well in low light. So if you're shooting indoors in a place that's not well lit or if you're shooting in the evening or in a forest, you know, you may want to think about getting some other accessories like lights. Anytime you don't have like bright sunlight like this, it's not, a bright, it's not bright in the day or you're not in a place where there are so many lights around. You're talking about low light. In a forest, for instance, or in a room or inside a house, you know, you have footage that is quite grainy and noisy. You'll be seeing all these little, little specks on, this, on the screen that reduce the quality of the image. So if you're shooting, if you noticed in this vlog, at some point when I was walking in the forest, I put, there was a light on the top of my camera and I'll show you how I set it up in the screen you can see that on the next screen now but that also helped to put in some light for me as i was making the video in that kind of setting so that's the only caveat or the only thing i would tell you that if you're getting this camera beware of shooting in low light you know, where the lighting is not enough because photography videography all of this is really all about light and mastering light and knowing how to use it knowing what is good light what is bad light so if you have a good light setting any camera will work even camera phones but in low light situations, you have to look for a camera that can shoot in low light or think of accessories that will help to boost the lighting. So if you're using this like in your YouTube studio, make sure you're using it with enough lights. And if you're using it for everyday vlogging, try to do it in the daytime when the sunlight, when the sun is out and you can have enough light. And if you're using it indoors, you might want to think about getting like an additional accessory like a light that you attach to um, like a frame that you put the camera in. So uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I took this camera out to vlog just so that you can see a practical demonstration. Every scene in this video has been shot with the DJI Action 4 and I've just used it like as an everyday vlogger. Um, no fancy accessories or attachments, just the camera. And when I left the house, the battery was about 50% and now maybe about two hours later and on and off vlogging, doing a lot of walking. The battery level is about maybe 20%, I'm not sure, but it looks pretty low, it's already looking red. I mean, that's decent. I left the house with 50% and now it's, um, I still have some juice on it. Another important thing is to make sure you have good memory card that will capture up to 4K footage. Because if you're using a memory card that does not allow you to capture 4K footage very well, you have issues like hanging, freezing, and all of that stuff. Make sure you're using a very good memory card. Once you do all of that, and you have it at the back of your mind that you have to make sure that your lighting is good, you will enjoy using this camera as a vlogging camera. So aspiring vloggers out there, travel uh, journalists, people who want to take videos of themselves traveling and going on vacation. Um, this is a very good camera to own. I came out today to do some walking. Uh, I set out to walk at least a minimum of two kilometers. Currently, I have done 3.3 kilometers. So it's been a good day. I hope this video shows you the capabilities of this action camera, DJI Action 4 and i hope the points i've made have given you additional information in case you're considering what kind of camera to buy and uh yeah catch you in the next video